Access to timely, quality health care globally remains a massive challenge. Non-communicable diseases and CDs are the leading cause of death globally. The diseases, according to WHO, kill 41 million people each year, equivalent to 71% of all deaths globally. NCDs cases are on the rise even in developing countries. For many years, patients with non-communicable diseases NCDs in Embu County, Central Kenya could only assess services in the Apex Hospital of the county. This meant that many had to endure long and costly journeys to the main referral hospital. In 2017, MSF started a program in Embu to integrate medical care for patients living with NCDs into primary health facilities, that is, the dispensaries and health centers. MSF focuses on five NCD conditions, namely asthma, diabetes, epilepsy and hypertension, and other chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Catherine Boya is a strong-willed woman wearing many hats, from wife, shopkeeper to livestock keeper. Her family for long have been living with NCD. I was in 2015. I was in the hospital I was in high blood pressure. I was in the hospital I was in the pressure. She resides in Beres South and enjoys closest services to her home at the Kabuguri Dispensary. MSF often trains the community about NCD and how to live with it. The greatest challenge of educating about NCD here in Imbu has been about the myths. The diseases have been associated with witchcraft. Rachel Ndwiga is a community mentor for the past five years. And my community, to be specific, they were fearful. Like, uh, you know, there's a notion that the community thinks when you have diabetes and high blood pressure, you cannot get cured and uh, you are now going to die. So there was fear, there was confusion. Uh, they didn't know uh, where to go or where to start. <laughs> Through counseling, availability of drugs and mentorship, Rachel has trained numerous mentees and among them is Esther Wanyaga, a community health volunteer in Muchogori Dispensary. Waunduma wa afya, tumevaindika na endio keso, tutumerani mambo mingi sana. Yari are atukwa tunanjua, atukwa tuna njua kuhusu ndraga dhiarans, atukwa tunanjua kuhusu levels, saizi magonjwa, tumepata edimu. Na kwa wagonjwa, kuna wengine walikuwa mahali wanaendea ndao wanaambiwa wanunua wakuwa na, ma, na pesa ya kununua, na hiyo kupatiwa mandawa free, sasa wamefaindika. Patient advocates have been the strongest pillar in sensitizing the awareness of NCD and also reaching to those patients who got challenges in getting medication. Changamoto ni kuwa eh, mtu akiwa akisemekana wako na ugonjwa wa NCD anakuwa ana stigma tayi simanake ni watu ni kama wanaanza kumtenga. Stigma is uh, basically discrimination and uh, stigma is there when uh, treating patients with NCD. An example is the patients that have uh, epilepsy. You find that patients who suffer from fits are deemed to have been uh, bewitched. And this has uh, made the patients not to come to the facility. But for such misconceptions and stigma to be reduced, the mentorship program has played a major role. So we were implementing a mentorship project for the healthcare workers. We are now in 11 facilities, and these 11 facilities are seeing up to around 7,000 uh, NCD patients. The healthcare workers have been trained, mentored, and are capable of uh, managing uh, NCD patients on their own. So we have mentored around 60 uh, healthcare workers, of which 12 of them are community health volunteers. 
and the rest are clinical officers and nurses. So it's um, for us a great success to see that uh, NCD can be managed at a primary health care level, at the dispensary and the health care and the health facility level. Margaret Muihaki is on her routine checkup at the Kiritiri Health Centre. Jacinta Nyaga is a clinical officer and an NCD mentee. We have been able to be given a lot of knowledge through teaching, mentorship, through MSF. The nurses and the clinicians have been mentored, so we are able to see patients with NCD problems, screen them through the outpatient, and we are managing them properly. This has helped ease fear with those living with the NCD. John Githinji suffers from high blood pressure, which almost made him blind. The cost of seeking medical was very high. Sasa mtu anajikuta anatumia madawa sawa sawa, anatumia madawa yote, hakosi madawa. Sasa tu nimenufaika nimenufaika na hiyo na nisikia ni jambo mzuri kwa sababu hata sasa mli wangu uko na nguvu. Wana waelewa ukimenya una mlimo sio. Kudikere dwa ni daktari ukithomithu kibuatirio na daktari akakwira mwiri ndoka kudhinya. Akora ni mli ni pressure ali guru. Walika kunywa ndawa ni nyurukaga na akwani kindu mweri warega ya kulia kitigana nakyo akwani nyamuta sukari ndi nyuya sukari ndi nyamwira ngwa mweri kireka na kwandika na ana sio ngira kira mweri ulenda Margaret Muihaki is diabetic and clearly knows not following a healthy diet can greatly impact her quality of life and can cost a lot of money to treat Atua ile nilichukua ni kunjua kunywa ndawa wakati ule unafaa na ndaya ya nayo nifuatilie vile inatakikana. Elizabeth Kiende Mudhinji is the Embu County coordinator of NCD together with MSF they have worked hand in hand in creating awareness of NCD though she acknowledges there have been challenges of treating the NCD diseases. So the support we get from uh, from uh, the county government is too little for to manage or even to carry out the activities for the NCD cases. And the patients are driving a continuity care of model that will ensure sustained drugs delivery. In a revolving fund, it's a kind of a group or an organization where people will be getting medicines at low price. It is very good because our people will never lack the drugs in a moment. MSF, uh, through the NCD program, has brought very many changes to our facility. To the staff, the project has helped to increase knowledge to our staff, the skills for managing the NCD patients, and even behavioral change and attitude towards the NCD patients. That has assisted the patients to receive better care and to also improve their outcomes in terms of uh, uh, avoiding the complications that would come with the NCDs. Testimonies from patients uh, get me very proud or make me very proud because patients are now be able to um, go or do their daily uh, chores. Some are able to resume to, 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 to work, which they couldn't have done there before because they were mostly sickly. Mm -hmm.